Just last week, New York State opened an early antlerless only season. So they sort of sprung it on us. And uh, I've been shooting a few different bows, but this is the bow that I've chosen to hunt with. It's an old, probably 1984, Hoyt Easton Rambo. Um, it was an old compound of my father's, probably his second compound. And I hunted with this last year as well. It's got ILF plates in it that I picked up uh, on eBay and some Black Max 2.0 limbs. It's 50 pounds at my draw length of 28. On it I have an old fuse compound quiver. I just like it. I don't really shoot with my quiver on. I practice enough for walking in or out. But when I'm in a tree I hate having the, the feathers ruffle against my pants. It's just extra movement. I mount it to my tree right here. So if I have to get a, a, a follow-up shot, I can just reach around and grab an arrow really quick. I've done it that way for years. I have one of these little Sims Limb Saver stabilizers on it. More just to take up a little bit of the vibration in the bow. I'm running a nap center shot flipper rest on it. Real simple, real easy. Pretty indestructible and also the insert, the actual rest part, will pull out with a pair of pliers. And then you can just slide a new part back in without adjusting the settings on it. So I keep one of them in the pouch on my backpack. So if something were to get broken on this, uh, getting into the tree or something, I can just swap that out real quick. I have a RMS um, grip trigger on here. I really like that. The way I use it, everyone uses them a little differently. I use it, I come back, put an arrow in, just in case the clicker pops and I shoot. When I come back, I'll anchor and I'll increase, increase, increase. You can hear it pop. So I'm consciously keeping my grip sort of tight and off of keeping my hand tension. So there's a little bit of hand tension and it keeps it kind of off the grip just a little bit. It comes off like this and I'm kind of purposely holding it up just a little bit. And as I start to focus on increasing tension, I lose focus on keeping my grip off that trigger and then it just pops because you can't focus on two things at once. I practice shooting without it. Sometimes I'll compress it before I shoot just so if for some reason it won't go off because it's slid or cold weather or my hands don't feel it or whatever else, I still want to be able to shoot it, uh, shoot well. I shoot better with a, with a trigger, but I'm not scared if it falls off. These arrows are Easton Axis Trads. Uh, 340s. I have 75 grain insert, uh, 200 grain heads. I have iron will ballistic collars that I paint green so I can see them for my gaps. Nocturnal lighted knocks. This arrow comes in I think like 655 grains. So for the tree stand eye hunting where everything is sub 25 yards, it's a tank, it's slow, but I really like the penetration I get regardless of what I hit. So that's my setup for the 2021 season. Hopefully uh, I'll put her to work a lot this year. Try to fill those freezers. It is September 11th. New York State last week sort of surprised us with an early antlerless season. Last night uh, I threw a bunch of hunting stuff together. I think I got my camera gear. I think I got all the stuff I need to be in a tree. Uh, my shooting's really good and I got some sharp broadheads so I guess that's all I really need. I chose this spot up here. I'm kind of up on a hill. Overlooking this little valley with a bunch of beech trees and a couple big oaks. I can hear the beech nuts falling. I can hear the acorns falling. For opening day, I didn't want to push in too deep to any piece of property, especially for does only. So I'm kind of just gonna, this week, just sort of the edges of these properties unless I see good doe activity to move in on. Well, I just had two does come in. They were close to getting shot. There was a huge lead doe and uh, probably a year and a half old doe with her. They followed my footprints in from my truck. I could almost see my truck from here and they followed in from the road. So they knew something was up and the closer they got, the harder they were looking. I had them probably 22 yards. But they were so nervous. I wasn't about to try to get a shot on a deer 22 yards. That was that nervous. I just did a quick drive by this property. I can access it from two different sides. And from the one road, I can look down and see to within about 50 yards of my ladder stand. And I could see at least one deer milling around down there. So I had to change my plans. I came back to the other side of the property and I'm going to access it 
um, more how I did this morning, and then not go to that ladder stand. I guess I'm gonna try to find a tree to climb and hopefully catch these deer moving, moving off that hillside. So try a different spot on this property, I don't know, closer to where I was this morning. Fingers crossed. Help me load this up real quick. 